Good morning. Uh, no little introductory video from my uh, hotel room this morning because uh, I was in a rush to get checked out actually um, and I forgot to do one so you're uh, getting one on the street. There's a lovely travel lodge I was staying. It was not that lovely. It was what I thought was blood on the uh, carpet floor. <laughs> I'll put a picture of that up. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was all right for what I paid, you know. Gave me somewhere to sleep. All good. It's directly next to the airport. Planes coming and going all day long there. Thank goodness for thick double glazing. So, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, talk actually on the walk over to the Excel Centre. Uh, so I'm going to go get some breakfast, get in the queue, uh, be in bright and early at 10 o'clock again. Not sure what I'm going to go to first. Uh, the big games that I haven't played, I'm not particularly interested in. Well, there's one that you can play, which is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I have no interest in Final Fantasy. And the other things are uh, a, a cyberpunk demo and a Death Stranding demo and I'm not going to queue to watch either a video or someone play a game for me. Not even for 10 minutes. So those are out the window as well. Uh, so I was thinking maybe actually hit up the res zone again where the indie games are and uh, check out uh, Streets of Rage 4 because uh, I haven't had the chance to play it yet, and I'd love to know how it plays, because it does look good. Which, when it was first released, I had, you know, I had no hope that it would be any any kind of good. Any kind of good? What kind of English is that? Anyway, so that's my plan, basically, is to go play that game, and then, who knows, uh, there is a, there's a session, an interview uh, with... Oh, what's his first name? Yoshi something. Uh, anyway, Yoshi Ono, the, uh, one of the creative directors of the Street Fighter series. Uh, he always seems like a, a real nice guy, so I thought I might go check that out, but it depends, what the, again, what the queue is to get into there. Uh, and that's at half eleven, so... Um, also on the docket today is... Uh, there's a... Um, comedy show called The Dark Room. It's an interactive text adventure hosted by a man who, uh, well, obviously is a comedian, but also he, the, the, his act is basically he, uh, he breaks the audience and talks to them like they're stupid as they're making their choices and so forth. I've seen videos of that. It's, it's very funny. So I might go see that depending on how I feel because I have a four and a half hour drive ahead of me. Thereabouts anyway. Uh, Back to Liverpool from here, so uh, I don't want to be staying too late. But apart from that, I'll actually be seeing um, who I can, you know, find on the floor rather than what games I can find. Because I've seen a multitude of people here. It's a shame I haven't stuck a camera under their noses, really. Um, who have I spoke to? Uh, I mean, I've spent a lot of time with the. Uh, Eurogamer editorial staff. Um, and I've played some uh, played some board games with um, Rob Purchase, the uh, senior uh, staff writer for Eurogamer, last night. He's a, he's a great lad. I've known him for a few years now. Um, what else have I done? Let's see. Uh, on Thursday night was the industry party. Uh, again, I hung out with some of the, some of the uh, Eurogamer uh, peeps. Um, spoke to Johnny Chiodini for a while there. Uh, now of Dicebreaker. Um, met Doug Cockle as well, who is the voice of uh, Geralt of Rivia from the um, from the Witcher series. He was at that party, so we uh, we got to talking and. It's really nice. He was doing the voice for people, you know, the Geralt voice, and I think doing the voicemail messages. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't get up the. Uh, 
I didn't get up the, uh, well, bravery to ask him to do that, actually. Uh, but then again, I'm not the biggest fan of the Witcher series. The, I recognise the quality, but uh, let's just say I bounced off them a bit. So, uh, so I met him, and then I've, uh, I've been able to talk to the, uh, the Eurogamer video team quite a bit, especially Ian. He's, uh, he's always willing for a chat, you know. He's a good guy. He was, uh, always, always nice to me as well. Oh, and I was up on stage uh, with them on the uh, Super, Mom Super Bomberman stream on Friday. Oh, that was Friday. My God, it's all blurring now. Um, where I sh I'm sure I look terrible. I played one round of Bomberman, uh, lost, and uh, and then that was the end of the stream. So <laughs> that was my moment of glory. Uh, and I also uh, also met up with the uh, Rock Paper Shotgun video team as well, uh, especially uh, Alice and uh, Astrid. They've been they're both lovely ladies who are very friendly. So it was good to meet them as well, and uh, so yeah, I'll be I'll be interested to see who else I haven't been meeting up with. Oh, I know who else. Um, I met up with uh, Tech Radar's um, Vic Hood, who I've known since she um, interned at Eurogamer. I met up with her a few times in the, over the past couple of years. She's great, and uh, I've very briefly met uh, Laura Kate Dale, who's. Um, who was there uh, doing um, a mental health panel and uh, talked about her new book about um, being uh, an autistic uh, trans lady. Uh, and uh, yeah, she was, she was nice. And uh, <laughs> I met her, said hello, said uh, enjoy your work and uh, you're doing important work on the topic of butts. Which she is because she's got a book coming out about video game characters' bottoms. And then promptly forgot whatever else I was going to say to her and <laughs> felt very awkward indeed. So, uh, that was good. That was real smooth. Well done, me. So, uh, yeah, that's enough of my whispering now, anyway. Who knows if I'll actually keep all of this in. Will anyone ever see this? I don't know. Anyway, I'm nearly at the XL now. So, uh, I'll stop this and uh, say, see you in the queue. Jump cut. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Right, I'm just the warm up act because some of you have become quite acquainted to our security manager. He's made a bit of a name for himself, hasn't he? So, so it's a Chris, 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 Chris. Get yourself over here. So Chris is gonna here he comes. So before I hand over to Chris, I just want to say a big thank you for myself and the wider team. So from Reed Exhibitions Gaming Network, thank you very much for today. Have a lovely day. Here comes the main event, the main act, Chris. Thank you, everybody. Good morning, girls. How are we doing? Can you hear me at the back? No. All hands. Pardon. Oh, one hand then. Usual rules apply, guys. If you haven't got your wristbands fitted, please make sure your wristbands are fitted to your wrists. Not your ankles, not your waist belts or anything like that. We're opening up in a few minutes. Uh, have a great day. It is the last day of the show. Hope you've had a great time. Yeah! yeah. Mexican I didn't hear that at all. Did you have a great time? Yeah. So what I think we should try and do this morning <laughs> is a Mexican way. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get it's going to get videoed. Someone's going to video, right? Someone video it, put it on Twitter, mention me a lot because I want to become famous after this. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to make some wave down the queue. So we're going to go all the way back left to right, okay? Here we go. One, two, three.
So yeah, last day of the uh, of EGX. It's so far a lot quieter than it was yesterday. Uh, to be expected, I suppose. But it is only about uh, what time is it? Nearly half past eleven at this point. Uh, anyway, this is the kind of the back back section of the uh, of the expo. Uh, there's the uh, Capcom stage I showed yesterday. Yeah. The stalls just to get some sort of bearings here. So. Turn around to face the rear. Immediately we see the uh, EGX live stage there with um, the Rock Paper Shotgun team at the moment. I've just said, said goodbye to them then. That was nice. Uh, a lot of things are nice according to me. I've noticed I've been using that word an awful lot. Jazz. Nice. Coca Cola stand. Now, this is definitely nice because. They have that store there and a couple of others around and they will just hand you cans, mini cans, but cans of Diet Coke. Uh, oh no, Coke Zero, sorry. And I've been existing on those all weekend, it's been great. No need to buy drinks. Oh. Leicester City Football Club. They've got a collection of flags. That's nice, isn't it? So you can hold your team's flag up. Now, to our left here, we've got the board game zone. I'll go in there in a second, I think. Uh, but here's my jam, the, uh, the retro zone. So let's start here. Um, wow, Sega Mark III. I have never seen one of these before. Not in person anyway. You know, I want to come back. When I stop feeling it, uh, when I stop filming even, I'm going to have to come back and have a go on that. Afterburner at the moment. Then the master system. Ness, uh, the Shit, it's the Xbox 360 uh, retro now. It is an Xbox, definitely is. There we go. Commodore 64. Atari ST. Boo. Here's the real deal on Amiga. Although Treasure Island is possibly not the best game to play on there. Uh, but with you. Okay. One generation back is apparently retro these days. The N64, nothing special. We see hundreds of these around, right? Now here we go, a Vectrex. God, I'd love one of those, but they're both expensive and fragile. So, probably not. Uh, yeah, this doesn't appear to be working. I think it was a Cleco vision my friend had when we were young, when we were younger. Can we go on? No, it's just just dead. The screen's dead, don't know about the Coleco vision. The Atari, your Dreamcast, another 360. 
look at the stuck car. God, oh, I love that Sonic and Knuckles. More Mega Drives here. Oh, the original Master System. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos is actually a legitimately good game, I think. Oh, a Binotone. Oh, look at that. that is tremendous. Here we go. Mmm, dead flash. Mm. Yeah, you gotta love it for the AK Spectrum. <laughs> I'm fond of the Ataris, but I would like one of the wood grain ones one day, maybe. And there's Super Nintendo. So there's, oh, here we go. The plus three spectrum. BBC Micro. What's that? Yeah, I don't reckon. Oh, it's an Atari 800. Okay. More N64s, another SNES. Amstrad. Ooh, ooh. ooh MSX. It's only hit bit. Oh, I'm trying to play Frogger. Ooh, look at this. Amstrad, what is it called? The GX4000. Uh, Terrible console, but good to collect because there's about three games for it. Okay, a few more than that, but you know. PC, 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 Doom, lots of Doom. Oh god, you got love Doom. On to one of the Jedi Knight games. Oh, that takes me back to working at a shop called the Playhouse where we had a, a LAN. And all the kids would come in, play games all day long there. First strike, uh, what's that, Alpha 3 is it? Looks like it. Street Fighter 2. The original Streets of Rage, I think. Ooh, a PCN cap. That's a lovely tiny console. What's this, uh, Super... Yes, Super Star Soldier. Yeah. That's with uh, Rick from Rick and Morty playing it. PlayStation 2s! More Mega Drive. Oh, 32X! Yeah! Because the one thing you really want when you're buying a 32X is to play flipping Space Harrier on it. All that money spent you're playing a years old arcade, arcade game. Good God. CDI, isn't it? You know, I'll never see what. Ow! Never mind that. My baby, the CD32. Uh, what's that game? Flimbo's Quest, I believe. Oh, everyone gets CD32. We're not a, a, a total waste of money at all, honest. Right, um. There's snares again. Oh, sh Is this an uh, Apple Pippin? <laughs> It is as well, look at that. Oh, racing days, which I believe is not very good. How do you go? There we go. Oh, is that the end of the race? Ah, okay. Oh! Oh, is this a new one? It is. A new one. Uh, what these are, because they're quite rare, is, um... There's, um... New one was a, a game system that the companies could build into their DVD players. So this is like just a normal DVD player, but it's new one enabled. So uh, yeah, it, it never took off, which is why you probably never heard of it. If you, but there we go, Tempest 3000 on it. If you want to play that, I love a bit of Tempest. Sega Saturn, yes, please. What have we got down here? Oh, Lightning Games, so we got Point Blank on your PlayStation. Um, oh, 
can't remember the name of that game, like Police Train or something. Back onto our PCs again. Oh, bit of rhythm action here. Samba Di Amigo, playing for the Bye Bye Kid. Yeah. Uh, Donkey Kong on the Wii. And more PCs. Woo. Right, shall we go around the back of it? Actually, no, let's go through here first. More rhythm action. So, Guitar Hero, DJ Hero, more PCs. Oh, yeah, got a little bit of calm again as well. We've also got like these, uh, these four player setups here. Good for people who've actually got friends. <laughs> That's not me. What's the pimple? So, uh, Game of Thrones, so this is a relatively new symbol machine. So this one here. I can't the screen at the back. No, no, it's just like this. <laughs> So much of that Adam Sand machine over the years. He was never any good at it. Taxi's another classic. Uh, oh, the Doctor Who one as well. Yeah, I love all that. Love it. Here's the Daddy though, full hydraulic outrun uh, arcade machine. Oh, another one of those uh, stations. Yeah, damn those WWF wrestling games are good. For this though. Angle the space is a uh, space is a bit tight. Oh, look at it move. Then we got Big Dog, Paperboy, uh, Gauntlet 2, the original Star Wars. I love vector graphics. Seeing, it, seeing um, those vector graphics on just on a, this kind of screen it doesn't do it justice. Yet. I kind of have to be there in person to see how bright it is. Road blasters, which I've never thought was much good, but you know, marble graphics. You get looks of looks from people thinking I'm talking to them. I will get high school. <laughs> Kung Fu Master, I played a quite a bit as a kid. That was the, uh, the main character called Thomas, so that's cool. Robotron, absolute classic. Why is no one playing as Donatello? Donatello, he's the best character. Oh! Uh, Space Harrier! Right, yeah, I'm going to move 
move on because I really am getting some funny looks at talking to the uh, talking to the uh, the camera. Just head round the back. Yes, three, because again, apparently the last generation is uh, Metro now. Oh, a Virtual Boy. Do you know what? I've never played on one of these before. So I'm going to pause the video and have a quick go while it's free. So yeah, uh, one level of um, Wario Land or whatever it's called. Uh, it's quite enough for me, thank you. Already I have a stiff neck from, from leaning over and playing on this thing and... Uh, yeah, although the, the 3D effect is probably better than you might expect, um, it does give you a proper... It makes you feel proper weird when you, you, you come back out again. Oh, it reset itself. Oh, oh well. My fault again. Next here though, we've got the um, PC Engine Duo playing our type. Jaguar! Jaguar! Aliens vs Predator. People say that's the best game on there. I don't think so. I've never really got into that. Thank you. Nice classic Game Boy Advance stands. Uh, not playing Mario Kart. I can't see that at all. I can see it better on the, the viewfinder than I can actually in real life. That's not good. There you go. It's a pretty decent uh, retro area there. Right at the back here, we've got the uh, speedrunning stage where they've been speedrunning games all weekend. Uh, I was watching the Spyro Remastered one. Uh, not last night, the night before. It's actually pretty impressive. These people have played these games so much that they can just run through them at just at ridiculous speeds. So there I was. Oh, with the help of a uh, film the screen. That's what happens when I'm not watching the viewfinder and actually taking things in, per in person. And here I go, wittering away again. Right. Retro Games Library is here every year and uh, it's just full of various consoles and there's an attendant somewhere, I can't see them, but there's an attendant somewhere you can pick a game, take it to a console and just play the game. Oh, there they are, over that side. Or well, the library is, at least. Uh, always a favourite, although it's a lot smaller this year, is the Minecraft area. There you go. I know my two kids love, love it. Love a bit of Minecraft. Uh, EGX Theatre, which is... Um, where all the main um, kind of interviews and shows and stuff take place. This is where the out, um, the outside Xbox slash outside extra um, adventure Dungeons and Dragons thing uh, took place. Dishinori, oh no, uh, interview going on at the moment. I did, yeah, I gave it a swerve in the end. Decided not to go. I just couldn't be bothered. Maybe I'll regret that, but not right now. Uh, board game area anyway, where you can literally pick a board game. Those two nice ladies in blue there. If you want, they will show you how to play the games as well. So uh, I was doing that last night on this yellow, on this very yellow table here. Sat with uh, Bertie as uh, partner and friend, playing um, a few games, including uh, Code Names was the last one we played. So, but yeah, any of these games right there on that table. Ask and you can play. Let's see these people are taking full advantage of it. Overpriced food. More board games. I think really the only thing left to show you. Is the HyperX 
stage. Well, they've been doing some sort of esports all weekend. Couldn't tell you exactly what, but all I know is it's bloody loud. The Vikings, almost just a warm up on stage with how dominant it was. They didn't have to go uh, beyond what we expected of them, but all the same, they did. They beat them 9 and 0 in one of those games. Absolutely dominant performance. But like you say, these two teams have gone up against each other now twice before. Once yesterday, which went all the way to 7 oh, games, and then 4 2 in Insomnia. Uh, this is the decider I'm going between to these two teams. Uh, Overwatch. It's uh, on one of the best stages we could put it here. Five. It is a fantastic stage. Like for me, oh, no, it's four. hands down, no, one of my favourite stages to work it? on because we're going to show Overwatch. this right now, a live demonstration. Go on, I'm going to hang around. We can go and we find talk out. to the players. So I'm going to go. Oh no, they're already getting into the match. Oh. Oh no, that's uh, Rocket League. This is unfair, we're getting ready straight away. They're oh, not even going to let us talk to these players. They're not interested. As they are so invested in this one. Ansi not going to wait around. It is, of course, by Claymores in the blue and MK Enigmas in the orange. Of course, we've got to be running with their Blong Arena's colours. And that's going to go uh, once again. It's all the way back. This is best of seven. Begins with a slow sort of feeling out section. We saw so many games yesterday, but somebody would score a goal in the first 10 seconds, first 30 seconds. But this one already is far slower than most of the games we've seen today. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one because the claim was won. I got the slow with that game, slow, eh? patient play oh, yesterday. No. But Nicholas, they must have gone away last night and come up with a strat to counter it. Uh, it was that slow patience that won collide the series as they went down early yeah, oh, oh, oh. oh That you. could be it. Have Missed they the shown goal. their hand already? Cynical getting the goal off of that demo coming out from a vein. A wide open net, uh, not able to be stopped by the Claymores. That is going to be MK up 1-0. to zero. It's and kind of fun to hang around and watch these things. Getting the first goal was all of the series yesterday. Uh, in terms of who got to dictate Oh yeah, this is the meet and greet area, isn't it? To play aggressive. Who's meeting greeting? Yeah, I know. I will show, show you though. I mean, like no one at the moment. Obviously, they're just queuing up. What it is? Go, go gamer! At one o'clock. So uh, I might try and catch them before that and just shout abuse at them. Back to the live stage, I guess. But I think I'll leave it there. I think I'll catch the end of this actually, and uh, and then head on home. So. Good old EGX and knackered. I hope I haven't witted on too badly and I hope I'm actually audible on these videos. I have no idea. I might get home and find it's unusable. But, uh, thank you for watching if you're still watching and I shall see you another time.